has the night off. I'm Gina Mangieri. While the state is seeing its biggest jump in travelers since the pandemic began, about 20,000 folks arriving across the islands daily. But with COVID cases on the rise again, some are wondering how and if travelers are bringing the virus in with the safe travel program in place. Nikki Schenfeld reports. As more people start flying again, a new study out of UC San Francisco found that COVID testing similar to Hawaii's Safe Travels program could catch nearly 90% of infected travelers before they board the plane. A recent study by the Lancet Infectious Disease Journal wanted to give struggling airlines and states an idea of how people can travel safely during a pandemic. The main thrust of the study is that when you do a pre-test uh, program and you have a window three days before travel, you can reduce the amount of disease significantly that would travel. Assuming 100,000 travelers are infected at any given day, before, during, and after their trip, the study used computer models and simulations based on things like daily case numbers, testing, U.S. regions, and how long someone could be infected for. Each strategy was run 3,000 times. The study did not use Hawaii Safe Travels data, but still found that PCR testing three days before a flight or rapid testing the day of a flight reduced the number of infectious travelers by 88%. Yes, up to 12% of people might not be captured uh, because they are still incubating their disease or the test just doesn't catch it. But the other 88%, it catches and they don't travel. Green says the study backs Hawaii's program, which shows few cases have slipped through since reopening in October. He says without safe travels in place, Hawaii would have remained closed to tourism until June of this year. You know, and, and that was never a possible reality for us. We would have had widespread economic devastation. And so the reason I pushed so hard for the safe travels program last summer was I knew that we couldn't survive as a uh, as a state if we didn't have some kind of program. We literally would not have survived. You would have seen tens of thousands of people leaving Hawaii. This week, Hawaii welcomed its two millionth visitor since safe travels began. For now, though, Green says the safe travels program is here to stay. I think that the, the key landmarks are sometime in May, we have the vaccination passport. We continue to do safe travels through the summer. We ourselves are safe because we vaccinated most of our population uh, by July 4th. And then come fall, you'll see the numbers be so low across the country that we won't worry so much. And I would expect that we can propose to back off of any restrictions. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHO2 News, working for Hawaii.